The farm bill is a perfect storm. The Senate's not going to pass farm bill uh, without uh, what they consider to be an appropriate food stamp program or nutrition part of the farm bill. And historically, that's always been a partnership to gain the urban votes necessary to pass farm bill. Uh, in an act of, uh, <laughs> you know, you have to do what you have to do, uh, the House separated that, and uh, that's now separate from the farm bill. And also the 1949 Act, don't forget that. That's the one that you can't implement, but it's stuck to the back of the farm bill. It's the hammer. So we took away the hammer, and we took away, I could say lollipop, but that's going to get me in trouble. Don't write that down. And, uh, <laughs> You know, you had the food stamp on one hand to draw votes in from the urban area, then you had the 49 Act to say you have to act, or you face Armageddon or something, because uh, that 49 Act you just can't implement. But uh, I'm there as a member of the conference, a conferee, to do what I can to protect and preserve and strengthen crop insurance and quit using it as a bank for other purposes. That's my sole goal. I don't have the votes to change the farm bill and the direction of the bill. I'm upset, that's a mild word for it, with the direction of the farm bill. I do not want to go back down the road where farmers plant for the government as opposed to, and getting into WTO hot water uh, as opposed to planting for the market with appropriate safeguards or safety net like crop insurance. But having said that, I've made that speech over and over again in committee. Uh, I did not on the floor of the Senate. I just thought, okay, let's just get this bill done. Farmers and ranchers uh, and everybody up down Main Street, all their lenders, need a bill. We need certainty. So that's my goal. We'll get the bill. Rest assured, with your help, we'll live to fight another day. And we'll try to make this farm bill more market-oriented as we go down the road.